Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So as I'm filming this video, baby girl is officially here. I know the last video I posted on this channel was the gender reveal vlog, so this may be a surprise to some of you guys, especially if you don't follow me on Instagram or TikTok and you haven't seen my post there. But I had planned to post a different video this Friday actually, but then I decided to just film this video, edit it, and post this first for you guys because it makes more sense. Oh, also, so the room I'm in right now is the room that used to have like this giant bed in it, if you guys remember. So we took the bed out from this room and we moved it into our other bedroom. And this bedroom has kind of turned into like our filming room and also where I'll be storing like the baby's things like in this dresser. I emptied it out. I used to have like my stuff in this dresser and, and now it's completely empty and I'm just going to put all the baby's things in this dresser for the most part and then I also have like a little you know drawer for her in our room which we'll go into that room later but yeah I feel like I have so much to update you guys on. I didn't want to do a nursery for her because I plan on keeping her in my room for a while and it just didn't make sense to me to like have a nursery and like she won't even be sleeping in here for like I don't know how long I'll keep her in my room for. We'll just take it day by day but I feel like it'll probably be like a good like six seven months at least till I'd want to move her out of our room or maybe even longer than that yeah we're going to start off with organizing the diaper pail thing I completely emptied it out for the most part in here I just have this thing of like gripe water which I got in my Amazon re registry bag uh, the one that they give you like for free and then here I just have like these alcohol prep pads for when she like had her umbilical cord to like keep that area clean. Now I don't really need these for her but I'll just keep them in here, use for my phone and stuff to like disinfect it here and there. But this thing is so nice. It has pockets all throughout the side so you can just fill it up with things and then the inside has like, you know, sections so you can put the diapers in one thing and you'll see how I organize it in here. I could not recommend this enough. It's like having like a diaper bag at home but like not a bag where you have to like constantly open and close it. It's just like all open so it's perfect for at home. And I'm also going to film for my Instagram and TikTok so that's why this camera is right here. I got the diapers, the wipes, um, a burp cloth, an extra change of clothes, aqua four for her, and um, a little grooming kit thing, and yeah, all the necessities. And then if there's anything else that like I think that she needs or something, I'll just you know throw it in. I got these organizers off of Amazon, and the diaper caddy is also off of Amazon. I'll link all the stuff down below for you guys. I'm not me having some you know, little jewelry in here. Oh yeah, I got some new pieces. How cute. Baby blanket, headbands that are too big for her right now, another blanket. Let me put these all somewhere else. When it comes to her clothes, I like folded them like this. I'm gonna show you guys how I did this if you don't know already. Um, it's so helpful, but these are her little pants. <laughs> Look how tiny, I can't, so cute. But all I did was just fold it this way and then put this thing down and kind of just like tuck it in there. Super simple. I love this hack. Same concept when it comes to the onesies and all her other clothes, but let me just show you guys. Like that, and then I bring this one down, and then I just tuck it into that. And then you can just like play with it to like perfect it if you really care. I'm going to organize all her clothes from like newborn to zero to three months, etc. Let me just put all her clothes on top of the dresser. These are matching mommy and me dresses and I'm so excited for when she can fit into this. She's a little too small right now, but you know, in a few months, inshallah, it'll probably be cold at that time, but you know what? It'll work. This one's kind of more complicated, but we're gonna figure it out. I need to do this on a flat surface and just... Let's Kind of got it to work. What time is it now? Taking a little break because she is with me now. I feel like she's still so small for the carrier because I could so easily just put her in the carrier and continue on. But I feel like she just needs to gain like another pound or two until <laughs> I feel comfortable putting her in that. Uh, she always sleeps with her hands up. It's the funniest thing. She's so cute. I love putting little bows on her. Look at her little outfit. 
Let me show you guys. It's kind of hard to show you guys with the way I'm holding her. But it's like this little two-piece set. It's like a wraparound thing. So adorable. And okay, I think she's getting hungry. I'll be right back. And we'll continue on. A few hours later, I feel like every time I'm like trying to film things, or especially for like Instagram and trying to do YouTube at the same time, it takes 10 times longer than it would have if I just did this normally, which I don't mind. But yeah, that's why it's a lot later now. I also got tired, took a little break, had to take care of Zyra. And yeah, let's finish organizing. I feel so dumb. Why am I doing this in silence? I, oh, I kicked the camera. You gotta be kidding me. Now it's going to be like a different angle. Hopefully it doesn't look bad. We're just gonna go with it. I'll figure it out when I edit the video. Finally finished organizing the clothes so many hours later. Her clothes are so tiny. I thought this would have taken me like 15, 20 minutes. No, it took me like over an hour, but I did onesies here, um, like little sleepers in the back, um, more onesies here because they didn't all fit over there. Um, and then here, I only have like three dresses for her, so I put those right there. And then some pants, and then these are like a matching set, and that's like a matching set, so I just kept them together. And then back there, I did burp cloths, bibs, um, her bows, and socks. I don't have that much stuff for her, you guys. Like, I need to go shopping for her, but honestly, like, I don't think I need that many more clothes. Like, when she starts to get bigger, I'll probably go clothes shopping, but for now, like, this is a lot of clothes for her. Um, these are mainly, like, newborn right here, and then I kind of, like, did newborn, and then it went to, like, zero to three months. These are, like, zero to three months. These are newborn. I know where everything is and then down here i put the extra diapers wipes i got the big box from costco so i have wipes for what feels like the whole year and then i just put uh, an extra blanket and then that blanket and then the other two drawers down here are completely empty for whatever else i might need to add in later on like when i get her more clothes and stuff i can organize it not me thinking this drawer was empty but i guess i put the stuff like oh yeah i did this like before she came home okay so i put um extra the diaper bag things and these are for storing breast milk and then there's a card for her oh i have not done this yet i don't know how i forgot i put stuff in this drawer it's for like her handprint i have one um for zarar so i can't wait to do one for her too inshallah i really need to do that soon before she gets bigger and then that's a little toy and another blanket this one has not been washed or anything yet this one was actually for zarar but you know she can use this one too and then this is like a uh, oh there's like little fuzzies all over it but it's for like you know when it gets really cold it's like a cute little what is it like a i don't know what to call these like a jumper kind of thing um the zip up things super warm and cozy and then i have an extra bit of cloth here that hasn't been washed these are like the month things like the circle ones uh and then oh, little shoes it's very like random but it's organized enough i forget that i can't get things done the same way that i used to before i had zyra i started filming this video what feels like a week ago Zyra and Farida are sitting right there, if you can hear them. Um, I thought I'd show you guys like some of the things that I've been using and how I've kind of set up her things in the bedroom. So, for her sleeping situation... <laughs> <Your home color. laughs> oh, This is the bassinet I have. It's from Evalor Sleep. I'll link it down below. They have this on Amazon. I really like the color of it. It matches perfectly in the room and it has like this zip thing. At night, I bring it like all the way up to there like really close to me. I really like how you can um, take this thing off. So in the middle of the night when you need to get her out of this, it's a lot easier. It looks like that when it's open and then we put her baby monitor in there with her, but we like put her all the way over there. Like she's nowhere near that. I know you're technically not supposed to have anything in there like bassinet slash like crib, but she doesn't really move around too much. And it's nice because it's like right next to her and we haven't properly set it up. I don't know what these things are called, but it's definitely giving sad beige baby. But now that she's having longer wake windows, I've actually been getting use out of this. She really likes this. She just stares at it for a while and they all make like different noises. And then this one like squeaks really loud. This air purifier, we've been using this since the day we came home. Um, I have it off right now, but it's pretty much on like 24 seven for the most part. 
and then this corner right here is where I've like kept her stuff um, obviously like the bassinet's right here I sleep on this side of the bed let me show you guys I emptied out this side table and I just put an extra change of clothes um, blankets for her I've been using jersey hijabs to swaddle her and they work really good like they work better than the blankets I would say this is a nursing cover it's from I don't know how to pronounce it. Is it Tisu baby? Tisu. I feel like I'm saying that wrong. Um, I have some baby books right here. Those ones in the back are for like when she's a little bit older because they're like this activity book. But this one is for right now. It's for newborns. It's a high contrast book. I have another one which is not in this room right now. But this is another little activity to do with a newborn. It's good for their like brain development or something. My sister-in-law gifted me this and then yeah, change of clothes back there. This drawer down here has like my pumping things. Um, I have the Mom Cozy M5 and then this is the one that the hospital provided me with like through my insurance. It's the Pure Expressions pump machine. So this is like one that you have to be attached to and then this one is obviously a wearable pump which is really nice and then I have some more um, bags to store breast milk in. So. The diaper pearl I have is this one. I just keep it in this corner right here. Um, it's from Munchkin and I mean her diapers don't really smell so I don't really know if it does a good job at like keeping the odors out. When she gets older and her diapers start to get stinkier then we'll figure that out when she starts eating like more solid foods. But that is the diaper pail that I have and I've been using. Also in this corner right here I have the Snuggle Me which if I'm being honest I've only used this like maybe five times since she's been home within these like last three weeks with her. I would say it's not really like a necessity, but maybe once she gets older, I'll start using it more, but I don't really like to use it too much because I know like you're not supposed to leave them in it unsupervised. So I feel like it's just easier to just put her in the bassinet versus putting her in this because all she does is like sleeps for the most part right now. But we'll see if I change my mind on this. This is definitely not a necessity. And since I have it, like I try to use it, but it's not something that I would recommend, at least not right now. I might change my mind on it, but if you've been thinking about getting it, I don't think you really need this. But I don't know, I guess it just depends on like your lifestyle with a lot of these things with like babies and stuff. Another thing I have right here is the Boppy, and if you're planning on breastfeeding, I would highly recommend this. Um, let me open it. I also keep this in a little dust bag. It looks like this, and it's just really easy to like put right here and then you put the baby on top of it and you don't really have to like hold them so it makes it a lot easier especially for those like nighttime feeds so if you are planning on doing that i would highly recommend this pillow but you could also just use like a regular pillow like a lot of these things are not necessities all your newborn really needs is diapers food and clothes all these other things that i'm or also like the bed it's not safe to have them sleep in your bed um, but everything else is just like an extra thing if you want to get it you can get it like don't feel like you have to get these things but i thought i'd share with you guys like the prep i've done for zyra and all the things i have for her and the things i've been using but these are like all the things i have for the most part for her oh also like bottles i've been using for her um, because i like to pump as you guys saw like in the drawer i have on my pump things and so i use the dr brown bottles because they're like anti-colic and um i have a sterilizer the sterilizer i have is like the phillips avent one i think that's the brand other than that i shared with you guys everything else i have for her um, we may get more things as she gets bigger if i feel like i need them yeah i thought i would take you guys along me kind of trying to organize her things and slash like how i've set them up in our bedroom i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like comment and do subscribe if you are not subscribed and i'll see you guys in my next video i have a lot more content to post i have like four videos bye